guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay at home mom of four. I also run the budget shop Purple Glimmer Budgets, which is where you're going to find a lot of the products that I use in my videos. You can find my shop on Etsy or also on my website, purpleglimmerbudgets.com. My husband and I are on the journey to pay off of our high interest debt using the cash stuffing method as a way to control our expenses. If this is something you like to follow along with, just keep watching. Month Ahead Mondays. I'm really excited to go ahead and get into this video. So if this is your first Month Ahead Mondays of mine that you've watched, I'm going to kind of go through the process so that way you know what to expect. So in here, this is my light purple Alana binder. I have my light purple double pocket envelopes with the custom foil labels. In here, I have six different categories that I want to get a month ahead. I want to get a month ahead of my mortgage, my car payment, insurance, utilities, phone, and internet. Internet and phone, I'm already fully funded, so I'm working on these other four categories. So let's go ahead and take them out of the binder. And I will just put these over here on top of here of the binder because they are fully funded. So what I do is I lay out my different categories. I try and randomize them because I want to kind of be as random as possible as I can in this challenge. And I just throw a bunch of cash on the floor. So let me pick that up. Okay. So when I was throwing all that cash on the floor, what I was doing is I was taking my trackers out of my car payment and mortgage. Those are my highest bills. So I want to go ahead and give them two chances to get stuffed. Um, since I have two of these fully funded. So I have six categories here and then I have a six sided dice. What I will do is I will roll the dice and then I will put cash um, on the envelopes. Here I have $105 that I go towards my month ahead funds. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this and then we'll get started. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I have 105 here, perfect. So I will be rolling the dice and then based upon the category or the number it lands on will be the category. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's see, there's a lot of cash here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that's 5, so this is 10. And this is 25 so 35 I'm gonna go ahead and to kind of speed this video up a little bit I will do two bills per roll just to kind of speed it up so let's go ahead and get started so two actually I also need to um, mix this up so that roll will not count because otherwise basically my first roll they're gonna be getting like tens and I just like to try to be random as possible so I'm just randomly grabbing cash and shuffling it up and let's throw some of these to the back okay so now we're very randomized and we're gonna go ahead and do two bills just to kind of speed it up um so hope everyone is doing well it's kind of crazy over here I'm trying to batch film my husband is with my sons and that's crazy but that I got two tens there but we'll be fine with it <laughs> sorry um so my husband and my two sons are up on their way to Chicago I'm not sure if they made it there yet um to go see the Chicago Bears play tomorrow so I'm super excited so anyways my husband is up to Chicago with my sons they will be watching the Chicago Bears game tomorrow today is Sunday so I'm filming while they're away my mom wanted to take our oldest daughter and have her spend the night so all I have is our youngest home with me so she's decided to take a nap so I'm like why not go ahead and batch film a bunch of videos so I'm trying to knock this out um, then I'm gonna go on my two dollar Tuesday video and then I am going to film my weekly stuffing video so hopefully I'm able to get all of those done before she wakes up from her nap so I have her video monitor off to the side playing actually this is for um, just to kind of monitor her so if she gets up that way I can kind of be with her um, things have just been crazy over here I'm trying to kind of keep ahead with some of the orders that I've been getting also managing taking care of the kids so um, it's just been crazy how is everyone doing 
Um, hope everyone's doing well. I definitely want to put that my thoughts and prayers go out to anyone who has been affected with the recent hurricane. So um, I can't even imagine what you might be going through if you were affected with it. Um, recently, we had our basement flood and it was a very, very, very minor flood in comparison to what everyone is dealing with with the hurricane. So I definitely feel what you're going through to some extent. I mean, we had maybe an inch of water, but even that was just a nightmare. So I can't imagine what you guys are going through. So let's go ahead. And it looks like everyone got something except for car payment. For some reason, I didn't roll a three. So some days you do, some days you don't. So let's go ahead and get all of this organized. So this goes with that. This goes with mortgage. And then, so car payment goes under mortgage and then insurance and then utilities. So let's see what we got here. And my money is like going all over the place. I definitely need to do a cash condensing because these are getting really bulgy and it's not making it very easy for things to stay. So I think this is a sign that I need to do a cash condensing. I've slightly planned it out, but I need to kind of get it underway. So let's see. I'm just going to combine this all because um, it's all basically the same. This is the same saving session, so I don't really need to separate it. So, okay. So the denominations all organized. And I have 10, 20, 35, 45, 1, 2, so 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $55. So let's go to the 40. So 10, 20, 35, 40. So this is one icon that we can mark off. And then we have, I think 15 here. So let's add everything else from the last stuffing. And then let's count and see what we can do as far as this goes. So I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna take a five and then four ones because I wanna keep the stash that I'm rolling a lot as like lowest amount of bills as possible. So one, two, three, four. Because when I do my condensing, I don't touch my rollover money. I just touch what's actually in the envelope and my envelopes are bulging. So I want to get that taken care of as fast as possible. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Perfect. Okay. So that is a second icon. So that's exciting that mortgage is our highest bill and we were able to cross off two icons. So let me put the tracker with the rollover money so that way it doesn't get mixed up. And then let's take a look and see how much we have saved so far towards our mortgage. So tens, fives, and then twenties, tens, tens, fives, and that's ones, fives. Ones. Okay, there, I think I have all the denominations in order and categorized. So I have 100, 200, 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, that's 400, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, so that's 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So $520 saved so far towards our month ahead on mortgage, which is great. Um, I think that gets us close to or a little over a quarter of the way there. So that's amazing. And it looks like we'll be able to swap most of this bulk for a $500 placeholder, which is exciting. So let me just squeeze all this in as best as I can. I should be able to get it in. It's a little difficult. Scrunch it up a little bit in the middle and it'll slide in easier. So I'm like, I know it'll fit because these like definitely fit tons of cash and then you don't have to like 
be as concerned um, that they are going to pop open because if you look that seam is very very sturdy so that is awesome so let me open up my binder and I'll just put these two fully funded back in and then we'll put the mortgage it'll be interesting um, if this will actually be able to snap when it's all said and done drop me a comment do you think I'm gonna be able to snap my Alana binder or am I going to have it pushed to the max so also what category would you love to be a month ahead do you do anything to get yourself a month ahead or how do you handle that or do you just do savings challenges and just kind of plan it that way so definitely let me know in the comments so let's see car payment is 30 I have 5 10 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then 8 so I have 28 dollars so for now, now we cannot stuff anything more into our actual envelope of car payment, but I'm not gonna lie, if I get like an extra $2 from one of the other categories, I will not be surprised if I don't steal it and put it over here just to cross out an icon. I reserve the right to make those modifications. So in insurance, I only got $4. So let's see what we did over here in utilities. Utilities is 10, so I am going to make an executive decision and I'm moving a single here and then I am going to take two dollars and then we will roll for car insurance so let me take this two dollars and move it back to car payment and let's count this and make sure that this is 30 10 15 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 so let's go ahead and mark this off just because it's extra motivating to have more icons marked off. So I'd rather use that tiny bit of rollover money to here because that doesn't really make even a dent in there and get some more icons colored in. So let's add this to the stash in car payment. So 10. fives, and then all the ones. Okay, so this is just the math, so hopefully I've not confused myself. So for car payment, I have 100, 200, we'll deal with that later, 20, 30, 40, 50, so that's 300, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, Six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. So three hundred and ninety dollars saved up towards um the month ahead for car payment. So we are not quite halfway there. So, I mean, I guess maybe a third of the way there, we'll see. Um, so that's kind of exciting. So this is a car, car payment on two cars. Yes, we have ridiculous car payments. We have newer model cars. Um, it's just what's worked best for us. So that's what we've done. I can't mark anything off for insurance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my binder and then let's see what we have to work with towards utilities. So I didn't have anything rolled over for utilities. So I have um, 10. And then 5, 10, 15, hold on, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So two light bulbs, one, two. And then once this gets fully funded, then all the three remaining categories will get two slots at getting stuff. So let's put all this money in here. And let's see what we have. So in utilities, we have 100, 200, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So 280 dollars, which is a little bit more than halfway there towards our utilities. So this is our electric, our gas, our water, and our trash. That's why it's so high. And we are a family of six in a um, two-story house. 
two-story five-bedroom house so it does take a decent amount of energy to run it so the moment of truth am i going to be able to get this to snap it is tight but it's doing it you can see how tight it is so i'm really excited i love these alana binders they do have a little bit um wider rings than your normal binders that you'll find on Amazon and then this leather this epi leather I absolutely love it so this is like one of my favorite binders now so super excited about that so I hope you guys had fun it's a little bit of a hot mess again that's just normal for me if you do find my content enjoyable and you like it um, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button I'm on a quest to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year Hey guys, so I got to working this weekend designing a new savings bundle, so I'm really excited about it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen a sneak peek. It's also currently live on Etsy, but I really wanted to show you more of an in-depth look at it, as well as kind of explain the reasoning behind some of my decisions that I made for it. So here it is. It is my birth month floral annual challenge. So it comes in three different savings amounts. You can get it in the 2500 which is what I have here. I also have it in a 5k and a 10k, and then... Um, you have a choice of many different like sets to get for it. So first, before I get into those details, I just want to kind of show you what each one looks like. So the dollar amounts will be different based upon the bundle amount you've chosen, but I'm just going to show you the 2,500. So this is basically my current bundle, which is offered in my glitter marble, just kind of revamped with new colors and graphics. So I wanted to go with something a little bit more simplistic and I'm obsessed with watercolors and florals are awesome. So this is just the best of both worlds. So here is January and January's birth month flower is the carnation. So I tried to match the font color to the floral as much as I could. Um, so this is January and then February is violet. March is daffodil. April is daisy. May is Lily of the Valley, June is the Rose, July is the Lake Spur, August is the Poppy, September is the Aster, October is the Marigold, November is the Chrysanthemum, and December is the Holly. So fun fact, our dog Marshall, he was in a litter that they named all of their dogs after different um, flowers, and I remember that I want to say the because we were looking at two puppies when we were trying to decide between Marshall and um, the other one, and it was his, it was his sister. Um, my husband prefers to have female dogs. I like male dogs better for some reason. Like we've not had the best luck when it comes to having female dogs with the ones that we've had. Um, they've shown a lot more like aggression and issues. So I don't know if it was just specifically the dogs that we've gotten because the the dogs that we have had that have been females have been like from not very good situations. So they might just be having anxiety for just other reasons other than the fact that they just so happen to be female. So um, anyways, so there was two dogs in the litter left. There was him and then his sister. I can't remember if her litter name was Chrysanthemum or if that was another one. Cause I know that they were all like named after flowers. I couldn't remember what Marshall's name was. Marshall's name was Cosmos. So there must be a flower named Cosmos. And then she was Chrysanthemum or I don't remember. Maybe she wasn't. I know one of the litter mates was Chrysanthemum. One of them was Aster. One of the boys was Aster. Um, one of them was Marigold. Um, I can't remember if there's any more of these birth flowers that are there. But anyways, those names just kind of jogged my memory of that. So um, this is a look at all of the different flowers. So when you're choosing this, you have the option to get them laminated. So this is laminated. You can get them unlaminated because um, I know a lot of you like to just kind of color with normal markers and um, don't like to color with lamination. So I wanted to have that option. I personally prefer lamination because I like to be able to reuse them. And then I'm also offering my lovely sparkle lamination. Let me see. I'm trying to get the sparkles to do it justice on camera there. You can see it. So um, you have the option to have the tracker laminated with the sparkle lamination as well so basically it'll be this and then I'll layer another layer of lamination that's what I found to work the best when it comes to working with that lamination so you have those options there and then beyond that currently in my glitter marble version you can get the tracker and then you can also throw in an A6 um, zip envelope or a disc bound envelope that work with my wallets because I know a lot of you have my wallets or wallets very similar to the ones that I carry um, I also wanted to 
do something kind of special. So I'm going to show, I wanted to do something like fun, another fun envelope. So I made a matching envelope. Um, so I'm showing this one and as I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that I don't think this is the final design that I came up with for this one. The only difference is my logo. My logo I ended up making a little bit bigger. So um, it took me forever to get this right because I don't know if you've ever printed on anything that's transparent, but it is extremely difficult to get whites and light colors to show up properly or to get colors in general to show up properly because they really wash out when it comes to like things in transparency, whether it be like vellum or in this case, this is a clear sticker paper. So this is the clear matte option or not the clear matte, the matte option. There's not any clear or opaque. It's all the same. So this is going to be the matte envelope option. And then of course I have to offer it in my sparkle laminating so you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm meaning as far as that the logo doesn't look right on this one. I think this was like um, when I printed, I got the coloring right and then I looked at it. I'm like, I don't like my logo. I want it to be just a little bit bigger. So then I went and resized it when I did everything in bulk. I kind of used April as my like test run because it was like one of the most difficult because it is the daisy, which is like a white flower. So white is like one of the worst colors to try and print on anything that is clear. Um, so I'm really proud of myself. I did figure it out. I was like, I was like blowing my mind trying to figure it out. So I tried to reach out to another creator that I've kind of gone back and forth with. I've helped her with a few things. Like I want to say she asked for help on like how to do a sticker and I kind of gave her some tips on it and I'm just always willing to help. She's always willing to help. So she's awesome. So I like shot her a message on Instagram. I'm like, I am losing my mind here. Your vellum stuff looks amazing. How do you print it that well? And so I just got impatient. So I started playing with things and I figured it out myself. So that was awesome. Otherwise, I'm sure she would have helped me too. So um, these are the matching envelope versions. And then this next option is going to be the built-in envelope version. So it's got your tracker printed on the sticker paper. And then it has to come with the sparkle lamination um, because uh, if you try to use alcohol to wipe off like Sharpie or anything on there. Um, it makes the finish of the sticker paper like disintegrate. So I'm like, that's not good. I don't want to like sell something that someone might accidentally ruin by using alcohol to like wipe something out. Cause that's really common in the budgeting community when you use items to try and like reuse them is that you'll use alcohol. And I'm like, I don't want to chance someone ruining their envelope on accident. Um, so I'm just not currently offering it. I'm trying to figure out a way to have the matte look or something similar, not this like sparkle as an option. Um, I just haven't figured it out. I still need to play with some things and I got most of everything figured out. So I'm like, I really want to get this launched because I've teased it on Instagram. Everyone loves it. So I just want to kind of get it out there. Um, so I'm going to keep playing around with other options, but for now, the built-in tracker envelope is only available in the sparkle, but honestly, everyone loves the sparkle. So I see this being a pretty good seller, but I will continue to try and figure out something for those that don't like sparkle to kind of have an option. Cause I tried to put like a matte lamination down and it, the lamination just wouldn't stick to the paper. So I got to go back and play around and figure some stuff out to see what we'll do. So I just kind of did some like test runs. I like played around with different things and just wanted to make sure everything looked good. Um, so also I don't have it listed in the um, option, but if you want trackers rounded, just message me and or put a note in your order and I can do that. Rounding corners are not that hard. So I'm more than happy to round the corners for you if you want. Um, some people like rounded corners, some people like square corners. So, um, right now I have it set up to cut squared, but I might be building a file to go ahead and automatically round the corners. Otherwise I have a corner punch. So that is super easy. Um, big thing with me and my shop is there's a lot of things that I can do within my listings that is just really complicated with an Etsy to kind of put all the different options I can do out there because just the way they built the listings, um, I have been kind of focusing most of my stuff on Etsy. I know I need to focus myself more towards my like website, but the website I built, it's so much like easier to do some of these things where I'm kind of constrained by what rules Etsy's put in place. Um, so that's why you'll see listings go up and there's more options that I can do, or you'll see me do like some fun things with certain orders. It's because people have asked me and I'm more than happy to do that. So if there's something you see in the listing and the listings just 
it's almost close to what you're looking for, but not quite, message me and I can see if I can tweak it and get your order out for you the way that you wanted. So I was really excited. I thought this was fun. So I wanted to kind of like pop on here and kind of go into depth and kind of explain the set and kind of the reason behind it. So I know a lot of you like to kind of see some of the behind the scenes things. So I kind of felt this was kind of a behind the scenes thing because I was explaining my reasoning behind it. So that's always kind of interesting. So anyways, thank you so much for listening to me yammer on about this um, new set. I hope you guys are excited about it. So am I. Comment below which birth month flower is your favorite. So be interesting to see. Also, um, are there any other designs that you're looking for that maybe I can bring to my shop? Comment them below and I'll be happy to kind of take a look at it um, because I'm really looking to push myself into designing more. I know that I got to sit some time down to design and it's a lot of fun. I just have to make myself do it. So that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.